Hey guys, Craig Zuckerman and Lori Clark here. If you have shoulder pain or neck pain, then the exercise I'm going to show you today is a critical exercise to learn to help you with that. Anytime I have clients coming into my studio and they're having this neck and shoulder pain, it's usually because there's a specific muscle they are not engaging and they're not even aware of. And so this exercise will teach that muscle how to work. And this is a great exercise if you play tennis, if you're a swimmer especially, or even for things like putting your luggage up the luggage bin inside an airplane. So check it out. Okay, first things you need a small towel like Lori has right there, and then you need a wall, hence the name wall wash. So what we're doing here is we're using this scapula. So the scapula is this wing bone in your back. And most of the time what happens when we try and reach is we lift our entire shoulder, all this kind of locks up into here. And that's why we get, we keep doing this over and over again. And this creates a lot of tension and pain in the upper trap, which then goes in and gives us headaches and a lot of pain in the neck too. If you're looking over here, you can see, I can even step over here. You can watch. It's that kind of thing where you kind of just lift up and, and you're tensing into this. There's a way to learn to reach that arm up while still keeping the shoulder down. And that's exactly what this exercise does. So let's show you how to do this against the wall. First things first, make sure you're a good distance apart. It's about a foot away from the wall, so you're not too crammed into that wall. Actually, I need you to step up a little more. You're gonna make sure you have this abdominal wall pulled in. If you flare the rib cage out, you compress into the back, and again, it lets the scapula and the shoulder come out of its natural or more stable position. When you use that rib cage, it allows us to line into the proper position when doing the exercise. Elbow, critical, stays inward. You feel this inward pull. And all you're gonna do is inhale to prepare, exhale, connect with the rib cage, and press straight up, keeping that rotation. It's like you're rotating this whole thing under, and then it comes right back down on the inhale. Exhale, reaching up. When this happens, this scapula slides down, because she's using this muscle right here, the serratus anterior. And it says that because it's like a little serrated edge, because it connects into the rib cage, goes underneath that scapula, and pulls it down. When we use that scapula to pull down, then it stretches the neck muscle. It stretches this trap, this rhomboid muscle that creates a lot of pain because we tend to compress it, especially with stress of life when we compress it to this muscle. And this is a great exercise then to decompress that, de-stress your neck and mid back. And the key is keeping that elbow in as you inhale down, exhale. It's like a string connected from here to that elbow and it slides that guy out. Let's switch over here so we can see what's happening. Inhale down, connecting with that rib cage. Exhale, this slides underneath, pulls through. You can really see that scapula movement there. And inhale back down. Again, when this is done properly, you feel this stretch, you feel this stretch, and that's a good thing. And then you should feel the work under here. Excellent, come on right back down. And that is the wall wash. Again, a great exercise to do. You can do it daily. You can do it anytime you're starting to have this kind of neck pain and problems in there. If you are a swimmer or like we were saying, tennis player, you know, learning how to keep that connected as you serve or learning how when you go to swim, you keep that connected on the way to swim is a very important thing to learn. So that's the serratus anterior and we are working the wall wash exercise. Hey guys, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Also, click that bell. Then you'll get notifications the next time we put out a video. If you like us, click on the like button. You can also leave us questions and comments below. We love it. And see you next time.